Hi, I'm Mihata, and this is the story King Viserys, the Poison Dagger Necromancer. This is Project Diablo 2 Season 9, and in case you've lived under a rock, in Season 9 the Poison Dagger skill Poison Strike has been reworked and is, it's way better, it has AoE damage and it is really really strong and I really enjoyed my time playing this character. As you can see, the whole world was after Project Diablo 2. This is the first day of the ladder reset on Friday. I was lucky enough to be able to play together with the rest of the world. First stop will be Blood Raven. Unfortunately, this clip is my revenge. When I was like level 10 or 9, something like that. But when I was level 4 or 5, I tried to kill Blood Raven and she literally owned me. During this playthrough I died 5 times and I think 3 of those were deaths by Blood Raven. Unfortunately the footage for those deaths is not available. Then I'll take you to Act 4 normal difficulty where I craft my first item, a caster blade. And you can see that the blade rolls 4 points poison strike which is just amazing to my, for my build and it had one socket where I put one shell rune so I have extra fast attack again fast forward a bit quite a bit we are now in nightmare difficulty where I'm just about to break my hellforge I am level 47 and you can just take a look at my damage and my resists in normal difficulty. From Hellforge I got an Amrun, which was a good treat from the game. Thank you game, you are the best. I was able to beat Nightmare difficulty rather easily, I did not remember any particular difficulties that worth mentioning. I was just a bit under level, but that's not a big deal, I had plenty of damage. So I was able to get into hell difficulty and I decided to do a few tower runs so I can level up a bit and don't suffer from the level difference penalty. I expected more from the Countess. The runes that she dropped were rather underwhelming. This was hell difficulty and it felt at best like Nightmare Countess. I did do only a few runes, I expected more. Come on Countess, no keys, no shell rune. I was still using my stealth rune word and I was looking for another um rune so I can make the bone rune word for the necromancer. My second um rune drop from Hell, Hellforge, but at this time I was already done, I was almost done with the game and I felt too powerful. I had made my Hustle rune word, which in Project Diablo 2 provides burst of speed on equip, which made me really quick. Together with the Vigor Aura from my Mercenary, I was blazingly fast. And the Necromancer in Project Diablo 2 has access to Blood Warp, a skill similar to the Sorceress's Teleport, but with quite high cooldown between 5 and 6 seconds. So it is a reasonable skill, but it made me really, really quick. I progressed from the Countess from the Tower in Hell Difficulty to Act 5 to the beginning of Act 5 in less than 3 hours, which was a great result. Unfortunately, I don't have the usual on-screen timer because the client of Diablo 2 is a bit outdated and I couldn't get it on screen, so I don't really know how long it takes. But it felt really, really smooth. Next stop will be the Ancients, the Hell Ancients fight. This is one of the rare cases where I was able to defeat the Ancients from the first 
spawn. I did not reroll them, I just head into the fight. I had five blood golems at that stage. My mercenary was with me. I had really, really good damage, really good survivability with bone armor. And I was blazingly fast with hustle and the vigor aura. You can see the final fight with Talik. I, I still had my moments, he almost killed me a couple of times, but it's nothing to do with the previous fights I've had with the Ancients in BT Diablo mode. Wave 4 from the Bale Waves was the most challenging as they are immune to poison. But I was able to defeat them together with my gang. And something interesting happened with wave 5. I think they disappeared. Like, Lister was at half health, I had poisoned them, I moved back to regroup, but when I advanced once again, there was just one minion of destruction left. Pretty interesting, I had not expected, I did not expect that I have that good poison damage. And then I was able to defeat Bale, and the rest is history. Okay, let me show you my build now. Survived it. Well, this is the final gear that I have. Jade Tando for poison skill damage, for poison skills. Also, fast attack. It provides cannot be frozen, which is not not. Would we? Sorry which was not particularly necessary in my build as I have a Rhyme Shield which has two more points into Poison Strike. I have one Necromancer skill level with Dual Res Circlet with a little bit of magic damage reduction. Hustle, which I built rather late, I think I was Hell Act 2, probably Hell Act 3, Act 2. I think. And the 6 points burst of speed are really helpful, I could move around very quickly and I'm happy with it. All resists on the amulet, resists on the boots, the stone of Jordan. I used it mainly because it's the stone of Jordan and it's the first one that I find, not that one point into all skill makes that big of a difference for my build. I have good rare belt, a late find, if I remember correctly. It has pretty decent pretty decent stats. And the normal armor ring with dual res and mana after each kill. Venom grip, again a little bit of crushing blow, poison skill damage boost and corrupted for some mana after each kill. My magic find gear, crafted helm, rare gloves, boots with a bit more magic find. This ring is pretty nice with 37 magic find, amulet with a bit more and crafted major ring for only 17 magic find. The charms are faster hit recovery, attack rating, and resists. Nothing. No, I think this is the best charm that I have. 22 attack rating and 18 life. So that's it. The mercenary. She has lower resist on a stick. So this, this crossbow that I upped to the exceptional version has 10% chance to cast lower resist on striking. Dark Glow, she uses this mainly for the all resists and because it, it, it is ethereal and I, I would have broken it so far up to this point. Dark Sight, which provided a bit of crowd control where mobs that attacked got dim vision and stopped attacking her. Hit blinds target was also semi helpful again for the crowd control. The bolts have a bit of 
ED attack rating and crushing blow. These boots are nothing special. My previous belt, again another good one with faster cast rate, strength, life and dual res. And these are the worst gloves in the world. Let me put some other gloves on her. I'll put that to good use. I have forgotten that she needs gloves. Interesting finds and good finds is this flame bellow that I plan to use a bit going forward. I found this is the only map that I've got so far. I think this one came from Anya. The runes. I have a couple of um runes which are my both hell forges, so nightmare and hell hell forges. A pull room, ten all resist, jewel. The shadow killer is a decent find as well. I have one skiller, one into masteries. I have a demon limb as well. I can create sub accounts in my account. For to all attributes. Okay. Will this survive? It survived. <clears throat> Ignore targets defense. I, I hope this is well for Project Diablo 2. Like my what I'm trying to say is that I have good attack rating and it's not that necessary compared to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Let's try the hustle. I can't corrupt the rune word. Oops. We mana each kill. Let's corrupt the SOJ. It survived. Four mana for each kill. Pretty bad. I think this is what I was able to corrupt. And this will be all from the summary of my King Viserys playthrough. If you would like to see a bit more about the character, about the playthrough, about my journey, you can follow this playlist where I have some of the streams that I did with him. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!